when you talk about people with cancer, um, either um, in the early stages or going through treatment, uh, appetite is, is such a struggle. How do you get people to replenish their body with good food when they don't want to eat? Well, the, the causes of a loss of appetite um, when you have cancer are multifactorial. I mean, obviously the stress of cancer and the depression, the mood changes, etc., is one of them. But usually if you have a, a, a medical reason for it, it's e either because of the treatments, the chemotherapy or the hormone therapies, or your disease is affecting your stomach, etc. And usually those situations, patients are quite you know, far gone in their disease. Um, but... Uh, Taking a step back, the first thing I, I would try in, in a re reduction in appetite is to say, look, unless, unless there's a natural medical problem affecting the stomach, you know, try exercising, try getting out, say to the family members, you know, buy a pair of training shoes, just try walking three times a day. You'd be surprised how quickly that can increase the flow of food through your stomach, improve your appetite. And then you can start introducing you know, polyphenol-rich foods or spicy foods and things. But you're right, if someone's you know, quite ill and you say, look, you need to go out and uh, take uh, some coriander and broccoli soup, it's, it's difficult. But mm -hmm. saying that, you know, polyphenol-rich foods are usually tasty. You know, they're, they're, um, a classic example, which, which, which sort of was one of the reasons why I got converted to this, was a patient who'd had prostate cancer, who'd had chemotherapy, had radiotherapy, had surgery, and was progressing on hormone therapy. So that's traditionally a four month survival scenario. Their appetite was a bit low, they weren't, you know, they weren't happy. And the wife started making broccoli soup with coriander every day. And that man's PSA dropped from over 500 down, and no other treatments, and then dropped down to what which is now five. And this is two and a half years later. Now, of course, it's not as easy as that, and I'm sure if, uh, but uh, you know, now and again, you get an example. And he could, he could tolerate, he has broccoli soup every day. Now, some people would say, well, you know, that's not very appetizing, but he's got used to it and he likes it now.